New lead-in and lead-out capabilities have been added to SmartCam version 15. Version 15 builds on the already powerful toolpath editing capabilities of SmartCam by providing many new lead-in, lead-out features. Offer far more options in the type of leads that can be defined and save time and eliminate error while providing greater control and flexibility by allowing leads to be consistently applied to groups of profiles. Leads, regardless of where they were created, can be quickly and easily modified or removed. The SmartCam system now uniquely identifies all lead elements, whether created with the Geometry Edit Lead-In-Out tool or by toolpath generation processes that support leads. We will use element data to examine the leads of a profile process toolpath created using version 15. The element type now shows line in rather than just line as with previous versions. The same is true for arc element, which is now identified as arc in. The lead in elements are similarly identified in the list view, as are the lead out elements. This change makes it easy to understand which elements are leads, whether they are lead ins or lead outs, and where each toolpath profile starts and ends. Another significant benefit is that the system now uses the lead identify to provide new capabilities, for example, allowing leads to be automatically replaced with new ones, or be ignored when using profiles containing leads as input to other functions, for example, with a pocket boundary. This group pocket process used the input profiles containing leads and simply treated them as closed boundaries, just as if the leads were not there. In addition to the new lead identify, the geoedit lead in out command has been greatly improved and now provides three distinct lead in out methods, each presented on a new tabbed panel. The lead in out panel from previous versions has been retained as the classic method. And new start end and parametric methods have been added. Unlike the old classic method, the new methods allow leads to be applied to multiple profiles using an active or named group, and if desired, existing leads can be replaced by new ones using the replace option. The parametric and start end methods also allow the lead in and lead out to be independently defined in the parameters dialog box. The parametric method allows leads to be defined using line, arc, or lined and arc parameters, and the line angle can be specified independent of the arc angle. A new overlap parameter allows the start and end of closed profiles to be extended to ensure complete cleanup when machined. The separation of the lead-in and lead-out parameters and the line and arc angle parameters allows different lead-in-out configurations to be created in a single execution of the panel. This eliminates the need to run the panel multiple times to get your desired result. To demonstrate the parametric method, we will create a lead-in and out on our profiles. We place the profiles into the active group, then set the panel to add lead, specifying our parameters in the parameters dialog box. We'll use a line and arc lead in and only an arc for the lead out. We add the leads by selecting go. Notice how the lead has been created for both profiles and that the lead in and lead out configurations are different and set to our specifications. Next, we will use the Replace option to replace the leads on all of the profiles, using a Near Point option to automatically split and resequence the right side profiles, and then align them with the start and end point of the left side profiles. First, we add the left side profiles to the group, then set the panel lead options to Replace, and specify the Near Point to be the start end. Next, we will change our lead-in style to use a 90-degree line angle with a small amount of overlap. With Go, the leads are replaced. As you can see, we have replaced the lead-in style on all our selected profiles added overlap and reoriented the start and position of the right side profiles to align with the left side profiles. This powerful new capability makes complex mass edits a very simple task. The new start and end lead in lead out methods allows leads to be defined using an arc, line, or arc and line, and separate start and end points. 
To show the start end method, we will replace the leads on the left profiles using the specified start and end points. We place the profiles into the active group. Then check to make sure the lead in and out panel options are set to replace. A start and end point is specified by picking a screen coordinate. We set the lead in and lead out to our desired parameters. We use a line and arc lead in and an arc lead out. Again, we will specify a small overlap amount. We select Go and SmartCam automatically replaces the existing leads. Notice the line length and arc angles are automatically determined by the placement of the start and end points. In addition to the new geometry edit lead in out functionality, all toolpath generation processes that support leads have been updated to provide the same capabilities as the new parametric method. To show the benefit of this, we will use the profile process to create the outer profile toolpath. We select the profile start and end elements and enter a depth of cut. We then define a line and arc lead in and an arc lead out using similar settings as with the right profiles. The parameters dialog has been reconfigured to use tabs with options on one tab and lead parameters on the other. Note how the lead parameter presentation is the same as the GeoEdit lead in out parametric method. We will enter our independent lead in and lead out parameters and include an overlap. Lastly, we create the toolpath. The new lead in and lead out capabilities of SmartCam version 15 save time and provide greatly improved control. These improvements offer far more options for creating and modifying leads and help save time and eliminate error by allowing leads to be consistently applied to groups of profiles. For more information on SmartCam version 15, check the SmartCam CNC website or consult the SmartCam B15 help files. If you would like more information on obtaining version 15 or to receive a no-obligation trial, please email us at sales at smartcamcnc.com.